Kibera, one of Kenya's largest informal settlements, and this is the future of Kibera. The Kibera that 29-year-old Ken Odede is nurturing. With just 20 US cents 13 years ago, Odede bought a ball and formed a team that gave the youth here a reason to look forward to tomorrow. It really stressed me when I see women are being beaten here, when I saw the rape cases around. So I wanted to stop this thing. So we came together and we make our own departments. We had soccer and we had a gender department that was talking about issues affecting women. You know, and also my sisters were at a very early age were pregnant, you know. So these things were something that were personal to me, you know. And I could see those who are uh, women who really got opportunity, how far they can go. This is how far the community and the girls have gone. Welcome to Kibera School for Girls. Yay! We wanted to, uh, to empower our community. And if you empower your community, people will really have a bigger impact as women. School for Girls in Kibera has a bigger impact to change mentality, the way people think about women. When people see them around, they are like, wow, I want my daughter to be like that. So you are stopping what? Early marriages. You are stopping that idea of that a woman can be a doctor, can be an engineer. Education is provided free for more than 200 girls. In return, their parents give free services to the school. The girls here are some of the most needy in the settlements. Africa is a move. Africa is a move. Primary education is free in Kenya, but parents still have to buy books, school uniforms, and in some cases, chip in to provide development funds. Providing universal primary education was one of the goals set at the turn of the millennium, and so was gender equality. Crushing poverty, however, means parents in areas like Kibera have to make the hard choice between sending their girls to school or sending the boy child. Ken Odede providing that option, taking in girls for free. Odede's fortunes have since changed. The U.S. educated graduate, now a role model for the girls. The girls carry the dreams of their families and the community. Through these kind of programs, that's how we're going to fight poverty, because they understand poverty. I want to be a pilot. It has taught me that our dreams are valid and we should keep on being, being focused in our life. Shining Hope for Communities, Shofko, has grown from a school to a multi-purpose social program that includes an economic empowerment program for women, a community library, clean water, advocacy against gender-based violence, and a community health clinic. Our community don't really afford uh, even food, let alone health care. So they are coming in large numbers because we are giving free health care. Make them self-reliant, you grow them economically, so the economic standards have really improved. When world leaders meet in New York next week to take stock of progress made in attaining the Millennium Development Goals, Shofko will be one of the programs that will receive a mention as having contributed to turning the tide on illiteracy, empowering the girl child and closing the gap on gender inequality in Africa. Sarah Kimani, SABC News, Kibera, Kenya.